Hello, and welcome to eSig Review. Today's review is going to be on the pass-through from Vapor for Life. This is what it looks like. It's marked clearly Vapor for Life all over it. And what I have here in my hand is a battery. Uh, just came off the charger. It's virtually new. We're going to do a comparison between the two devices. So, just so you know what you're getting with the pass-through, I'm going to package a nice new cartonizer here. So a 16 milligram Marlboro. Now we're going to put that on the battery first. This is a brand new battery. Never before seen anything but the charger and uh, about probably 10 recharges, I'm going to say. Uh, it wouldn't really make sense to compare it to an absolutely brand new battery because battery life, of course, over time flags a little. This one's had 10 uses. I wouldn't call it wore out and I wouldn't call it brand new. It's closer to new than used. But to give the battery, you know, fair ground to stand on, that's where this battery is at. So, that was a double hit for vapor production. We'll try it again. Not too bad. It's a considerable amount of vapor. Now we're going to put the exact same fertilizer on the on the pass through. And we'll let it cool just a little. Although the battery doesn't really really fry them. Yeah, it's cool enough. Okay, here is the pass through. Same exact fertilizer. Good gracious. You might wonder why that is. <clears throat> Ooh. The reason for that is these batteries, there's only so much you can get in that battery. And when they stare face first into the dead short that is the atomizer, it's just a small coil of steel wire, a nichrome probably. Um, it's a, like a stainless steel wire uh, that's specifically used for heating elements. When it stares into that face first, it's a dead short. And as a consequence, uh, the spontaneous voltage drop here, it's just like you laid a screwdriver across the contacts, it, it makes it much, much, much lower in voltage. The pass through has wire. And you can try to drop that voltage, but whatever you've got it plugged into just keeps giving it more. As a consequence, you get the full voltage you're supposed to be getting out of the battery with the pass-through. And the results are kind of obvious. Uh, far greater vapor production. Uh, cartomizer life, or uh, well, in this case only cartomizer life, uh, will be a little reduced because vapor production is tied directly to uh, juice usage. And every time you take a drag with, uh, with a pass-through, you're using more juice. But it's not drastically reduced. Uh, it probably takes an hour off of them. These, these cartomizers will go for, uh, I don't know, four to six hours for some people. I get about three, three and a half because I just breathe through them. But that's, that's a lot of vapor. And then back on the battery, of course, I'm vaping juice away here, so. The first would be the most accurate, undoubtedly. It's, it's a sizable difference. I don't know how well the camera translates it, but from here the camera vanishes on the pass-through, and it, it gets clouded over pretty good on battery, but it's nothing like the pass-through. Anyway, this has been a a video review for the Vapor for Life pass-through for the Vapor King. And thanks for watching.